John Lee Pettimore is taking the lead again, passing Jefferson's car. Two, two more out. laps, Macklin. Two more laps, and I clean you out. <laughs> My system's putting you out of business once and for all. Yeah, well, I'm coming to collect. You better have my money ready. <laughs> Can't do this to me. Donald? Donald, what's happening in there? What have you done to the television? It's nothing, Ma. I'll get you another one. You bet on something again, didn't you? You promised me you wouldn't. I got debts, Ma. I need some money. <sighs> Nobody can do this bad forever. Hmm? Benny gave me a tip on the trots. I still got time to make the post. Donald, how much do you owe? This all there is? How much did you lose? Oh, don't worry about it. Look, gambling's wrong. It's the devil's game. You could go to jail. Don. Ma, I can't talk to this guy. Get rid of him. You want them to do me like they did Pop? Huh? Come in. It isn't locked. Good afternoon. Is Donald around? Well, he's out for a while. He's doing some errands. This is very nice. Thank you. Oh. Donald. You shouldn't leave your mother alone. She could hurt herself. Ma! Uh. Oh. What about this? Angelo, please! Huh? Please! I couldn't get hold of the money. I tried. Try harder. Oh. 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 doesn't have anything worth taking. Hey, didn't you hear what I said? Hey, a World Series ring. I always wanted one of these things.
number five, Dandy Don, leading by a head, and at the wire, it's Dandy Don. Winner of the eighth race, Dandy Don. Banky Hanky in place, and Rain Dancer to show. Yes, it's inscribed World Series Chicago 1919. Well, perhaps you could just take a look? Hey, I finally got through to the police property room. But listen, you're gonna have to cross your fingers. We need a break on this. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. No, it's, it's fine. Thank you for your help. Yes, I am aware that Cincinnati won the World Series in 1919. Thank you, though. Back to square one, huh? That ring is the first thing Lewis listed. The first antique he sold. It's been out there doing God knows what longer than anything else. Well, let's review what we already know. That ring was designed for the Chicago White Sox because they were a shoe-in to win the World Series in 1919. Right, right. And then they threw it over for a gambling syndicate. It was sold to Luke Spicer. The late Luke Spicer. Where do we go from here? What about gambling? Well, yeah, I mean, we've chased down cursed objects before that had an association with a past evil. Right. Lewis might just have made that association stronger. It's worth checking out. It's OK, Ma. He's gone. I took care of everything. Put your hand. It's OK, Ma. Don't worry. How about you? I'm fine. Good, good. Take it easy, huh? My luck's finally changed, Ma. I can feel it. Everything's gonna be just fine. trouble and that's part of the fun something else you want to say to me Angelo's disappeared mr. Macklin so whose account was he working on Donald Wren he went to pick up the installment and uh, that's the last we saw of him we just heard Wren picked up five grand uh, perfecto so you think Angelo cut himself a private deal I wouldn't put it past him. Lewis, find Angelo. Johnny, I want you to take care of Mr. Wren. I believe he has 5,000 of mine. And if he won't pay? Then you cancel his account. OK, we've got syndicates, bookies, big winners, big losers. About anything you can relate to gambling. Now all we have to do is relate it to the ring. Oh, ma'am, I'm sorry. We are closed right now, but if you'd like to come back tomorrow. You... Oh, uh, I, I didn't want to buy anything. You see, I got one of these uh, mailers about a year ago. You bought something from the store? No, well, not exactly, but, but I had something that you wanted. Dad, what was it? It was a ring, an old World Series ring. So, Mrs. Wren, let me get this straight. You've had this ring stored in a little box for almost six years, and it's just been stolen. That's right. And I thought you might be able to help get it back. Well, you got that mailer a while ago. Why didn't you come to us earlier? I didn't know if I could trust you. I didn't know what you might use it for. Use it? What do you mean, use it? You know what that ring can do, don't you? Well, I couldn't go to the police. I thought... You might know how to stop it. All right, all right, all right. Just tell us what's happening. Tell us how it works. Well, 
It gives and it takes. My husband was a weak man. And the ring gave him the power to gamble and to win. But it turned him into a murderer. What happened to him? He was shot. The police thought it was a bookie named Anthony Macklin, but they couldn't prove it. Now my son owes Macklin money. And if Macklin has that ring... You may use it on your son. <laughs> Mrs. Wren, it's all right. It's all right. You've come to the right place. Now, tell us exactly how it works. Boys, you're looking at a winner here today. <laughs> Jake's for everybody. When I got it, I spread it around. Yeah? Well, how about paying up your last tab? Just you show me the bottom line. Well, I'll get it. You've got other debts to pay first. Come on, Johnny. I was going to get you guys. When? When you needed another loan? There's less than two grand here. We heard you won five. No, no, no. You heard wrong. No! You're into us for $40,000. This isn't even a day's interest. Please, Johnny. I'll have it for you by tomorrow. I just wanted to get something for my mom. Isn't that sweet? Let's go. My mother's sleeping. I don't want to wake her up. Come on, Johnny. Give me a break. I'll be back. I'll, I'll give you some insurance. It's a World Series ring. You can get five, six thousand for it anywhere. Do I look like a pawnbroker? Okay, you got five minutes. Sure. I bet you dreamed of having one of those when you were a kid. It can get a hundred channels in stereo. And there's a remote. <laughs> no more sitting through commercials. <laughs> but that ain't the best. Come on, try it on. I can't. Come on, Ma, relax. So it's gambling money. It's still money. I bet on a hockey game. It paid off big. I even took care of Macklin. I don't owe him a cent anymore. You know what this means? Huh? It means we're even. 
He'll have to take my action again. I'm going to use this money to break him, Ma. Please. The money is dirty. It has blood on it. I saw you kill that man last night. I'm through losing, Ma. This time, I'm on a roll that will never stop. Ryan, this Anthony Macklin's mentioned in some of these newspaper stories, and he's not a small-time bookie. You think that's interesting? Take a look at this. Donald Wren. Mrs. Wren's son. Maybe he got lucky. Maybe he took the ring, and this is how it works. I guess we better go talk to him. I think so. Hey, 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 better late than never, huh, Mike? Seals really come through for you, huh, Donnie? Who would have thought that crummy team would have won one? 490, 500. Plus a little something for your patience. Well, thanks, Donald. So you're gonna pay Macklin back now? Already did. 40 grand in small bills. I wouldn't get on his wrong side if I were you. Macklin's a two-bit hustler. I'm gonna own him. You watch. Forget it. What do you mean? I lent you money for the Super Bowl, didn't I? I don't need any partners, Benny. Well, you, you owe me, Donnie. Now, I came through when you were down. Get lost. Yeah, sure. Maybe I go tell Macklin what I heard you say about him. Hey, Benny. Let's see what we can do for you. So uh, what are we going to bet on, Donnie, huh? The horses, the fights? Hey, Stanford's playing UCLA tonight. How about that? I don't know yet. Mm, no. <laughs> My good luck, John. Try it on. What for? You want in on this or not? OK. Jeez. There. You satisfied? I will be. Hey, where are you going? Mrs. Wren. Look, I, I, I'm sorry. I can't talk to you now. Did you see this morning's paper? Where's Donald? Mrs. Wren, does he have the ring? Yes. Oh, did he use it? Look, I know my son. He wouldn't hurt an innocent person. The man he killed was a gangster. He came here to hurt us. Where's Donald now? Well, I'm not sure. Now, you mustn't call the no, police. No, no, no. We just want the ring. Well, there's a couple of bars he goes to in the evening. I was just going to look for him. Come on. We'll take you. Kelly Smith up and in for two points. Yeah! <laughs> Way to go! You see that shot? Huh? I thought you'd bet on Stanford. I like it to be interesting. There he is. We've got to get him away from all those people. He'll talk to his mother. Chadlow clean, breaks up the court with Terry G on the fast break, looks over, no look pass, Terry G hits the three points. That's the 
Donald. Ma, well, what are you doing here? Donald, I have to talk to you. You've got to stop gambling. I'm finally making money, Ma. And I'm gonna make some more. We'll be rich. No, you can't, Donald. Not like this. Give me that ring. I don't know what you're talking about. Give it back before anyone else gets hurt. Your father died because of that thing. It doesn't bring you good luck. It's evil. Look, Ma, you gotta understand. I'm doing this for you. When this game is over, we're gonna have all the money we ever wanted. You know that home you wanted to retire to in Florida? Well, you're not going. I'm gonna buy you your own place. In the Bahamas. You can fill it with all those tropical plants you love. <laughs> Spend all day on the beach. <laughs> then you promise you won't use it again? After tonight? I don't need to. Hey. I'm not like Pop. I'm not gonna give you any trouble. <laughs> now you go on home. I'll be back after I collect from Macklin. Hmm? Tomorrow, we'll go looking for some travel brochures. Huh? Did you get it? He promised he wouldn't use it again. He's bringing it home tonight. I knew he was stronger than his father. Why don't you get Mrs. Ren a taxi and wait in the car? I'll get him by himself. Maybe I should do that. Are you going to get him to go home with you tonight? Ah, uh, you got another three. Yeah, yeah. They'll win by three. 100 to 97. Give me another drink. Here. Help yourself. Nowhere to go. Moved it back out to Higgins. Looking around. Sees Richmond over in the corner. Goes up on Smith. Puts it up and in from 15 feet. Stanford is coming back. Where did they find the bodies? Floating in the sewer. They could have been dumped in anywhere. Yeah. It's Mike. I'd say the odds on Donald Wren knowing about your missing boys. Just drop to even money. Don't let him leave. All right. Can I buy you a drink? What took you so long to ask? Oh, well, I was playing hard to get. <laughs> well, now that we got that over with. Why don't we go someplace quiet? This place gives me a headache. Hey, Donnie, where are you going? Out. Uh. Yeah, it's Mike again. Listen, uh, my apartment's a bit of a mess. Why don't we go up to your place? Working for Macklin. You're trying to set me up. <laughs> Not 
Zeppelin gives you a lot of jewelry, doesn't he? I bet you've never seen anything like this before, huh? Let go, man, you great! Shut up! I need another winner. And every time there's another winner, there's a loser. Sorry, babe. Uh, uh, Hello, Donald. Can we uh, give you a ride? Mr. Wren. I'm glad you could make time for us. What the hell is this, Macklin? Well, I'd like to discuss a turn of events. Yesterday, you owed me $40,000, Donald. Two bets later, I owe you $40,000. Now, how do you suppose that happened? I got a system. Few guys bet Stanford tonight. Few guys covered the spread. But you, you knew the exact score. I told you, I got a system. Oh, like the one your father used? <laughs> your old man was a loser his whole life. Then all of a sudden, he got a system too. And now you got it. I want to know what it is. Maybe it's genetics. I'm not upset with you, Donald. Losing a few guys for a good system like you got is a fair trade. So what is it? You kill me. You'll never know. Nine more to go before I even start to think about killing you, you lousy scumbag. Get him out of here. I don't believe it. He promised he wouldn't use it again. Oh, my God. Who's taking him? Macklin. Donald wanted to bankrupt him. Why? Well, you see, my husband won big the day he died, and Macklin wouldn't pay up. Donald blames Macklin for his father's murder. Okay, where can we find Macklin? He's got a club down by the river. I saw it in the clippings. Well, let's go. Look, it wasn't Donald's fault. It was the ring. Bring him in here. Up until now, he's been too far away for the punch of the ass landed to have any effect. Jones with a reek right and a left and up to back to purge away, but not doing any real damage. Both these fighters are being cautious in the early going. Another one of them's gone 12 rounds. I thought you might like to watch somebody else get beat up for a while. Whoa, there's a wicked right from the first. Jones comes back with a left and two jabs. Who's going to win, Donald? I said who's gonna win. No, Ren! What do we do now? I don't know yet. 
We're ready to start next door. I'll be out there in a minute. Tell them to go ahead. I don't need the round, Donald. I just need the win. Remember, and have been following his career. Now he took a very nasty head butt from Pedro Hidalgo last month. One in white. How do you know that? <laughs> I'm guessing. That's all I do. Mrs. Wren. What in the hell's she doing here? I don't know. Let's try and get in the back way. Come on. Hey, boss! We got a visitor! Oh? Donnie! Oh, my God! Oh. I'm sorry if this disturbs you, but Donald has been very uncooperative. What have you done to him? Maybe if you talk some sense into him, we won't have to do any more. I gave you the win, Macklin. Oh, did you? Go cut off his other thumb. No! Oh, no! Please! For God's sake, no! I want to know the system. Tell him, Donald. No, Ma. If I tell him, you'll kill me. Just like you killed Pop! And if you don't, I'll kill her. No! 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 his fingers or the truth it's the ring hi I'm uh, supposed to meet somebody here do you think you can let me in you're getting good at this I'm getting a lot of practice my system. It'll give you luck. Put it on. You expect me to believe that some ring picks his bets? Ben. 
knuckle fight. Blonde guy meets a black guy. That's all I know, honest. How do you know that? I'm just telling you who'll win. That's what you wanted, isn't it? He does it with the ring. Just put it on, you'll see. Sammy. see one of these fights before no referee no bell just fight till somebody falls down I don't know how you knew about this An awful lot of money riding on this bout which of the blonde guy will win I'll let my mother go blonde guy huh I want to put a G-note on the blonde. I always knew you had money to burn. Get all the luck. Huh. You did good, Donald. Real good. Come on over here. I want to talk to you for a minute. Bring Mom along. That's how we're gonna get by this guy. The fight's about to start. Maybe that'll distract him. I gave you a winner, Macklin. You gonna let it go? Pocket change. You want me some pocket change? Now, there's some more fights tonight. A lot of high rollers out there with full pockets. I want you to show me how to empty it. All you have to do is put on the ring. Please, just do it and let Donald go. Ha <laughs> ha 
get ready. No one in our way now, Ma. We can have anything we want. Get rid of it before it destroys us, too. We'll be rich. We can have it all. Give it up! Hi. I tried to make my husband stop using the ring. But I couldn't. So you shot him? I had no choice. Just like I had no choice. Shh. This may not mean much, but that ring will never hurt anyone again. Mrs. Wren, if there's anything we can do, Are you going to tell the police?